please come here now what is your problem um, osteoarthritis and osteoporosis on a hiatus hernia so osteo so most skeletal so every time every moment you are in pain yeah from head to toe from head to toe yeah praise god now according to the word of god if i am speaking in faith the word of god and it is planted in my heart is the bible saying that word in your heart will produce the harvest yeah yeah so for that word to be in your heart do you need to rely on what symptoms you got one what the doctor said what google said what he said she said or what jesus said jesus said sure yeah are you ready yeah okay now is it connected to your bones yeah so what happens to your bones they are strong or they are getting weak weak they are getting weaker and weaker yeah what about the joints yeah they're stiff my whole body is stiff your whole body is stiff yeah. what about the cartilages because of the arthritis the cartilages yeah, are worn out probably damaged they are damaged they probably are ah praise god now let us see a scripture that can fix this up okay so once you have the right seed it will produce the right harvest right okay give me psalms 22:14 let's let's talk about stiffness in your bones let's finish it off with a scripture psalms 22 verse 14 is that good yes uh, uh when when you have a problem in your stomach okay let's take for example you got your car into a garage and the tire was flat will the mechanic start opening the engine no or the steering wheel no. or will he go to the tire so will he use the tools to re- to open the tire yes. come on talk to me please yes. in the same way she has got a problem with the bones so now as a mechanic in the scriptures what does the bible speak about bones and once you have found it you are using that scripture to fix your bones are you understanding yes. Yes. yes yes okay let's read that please read that i am poured out like water i am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint and all my bones are out of joint not some all yeah okay my heart is like wax my heart is like wax it is melted in the midst of my bowels so you got problem in your bowels as well yeah yeah, yeah. so in this there are two things that will happen one thing now what is he talking about he's talking about jesus suffering on the cross okay okay so when jesus was crucified and you see the picture of jesus anywhere do you find that his bones were out of joint now there are only few little blood here little blood here little blood but that's not what the scripture says the scripture says in psalms 22 that his bones when he was whipped the 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 flesh was torn even his bones could be seen and every one of his bones were out of joint they were out of joint so that your bones can be healed okay. so whatever damage you got in your joints those damages jesus took upon his body and from his healthy body which now got wounded for your sake and my sake the exchange takes place and your joints are completely healed now this healing which is physical which you need he has given you that healing in a form of a seed like my brother said he said when he uh, takes that seed he cannot see the corn he cannot see the harvest but it is in that seed he cannot see the plant he cannot see the leaves but he knows as a farmer if i plant the seed what are the seed it will produce the corn is that right do you understand yeah. so here is a seed which speaks about bones, bones. bones out of joint yeah. whose bones got out of joint jesus is for whose sake right. your sake what about his health now he is giving you his health and taking your sickness in his body okay are you following yeah then his heart is like wax it is melted in the midst of his 
bowels. So that exchange takes place when the soldiers kicked him in his stomach, beat him. All inside his organs were damaged. They were damaged so that your damaged organs get completely healed. Good. Good. So now, are you willing to plant that seed in your heart? Yeah. By opening your mouth and speaking yes. it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to teach you to speak. Okay. And the next moment, everything will be fixed about your joints. Okay. And then we talk about making the bone strong the next session. Right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Old man, close your eyes, concentrate, and say this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for teaching me. I thank you for teaching me. Any prayer with worry. Any prayer with worry. Is like the wave of the sea. Is like. Is like the wave of the sea. It's like the wave of the sea. Tossed to and fro. Tossed to and fro. You said. You said. Such a person will receive nothing. Such a person will receive nothing. From you, Lord. From you, Lord. So. So. I now choose to believe. I now choose to believe. Not on my sense knowledge. Not on my sense knowledge. Not what the doctor's report says. Not what the doctor's report says. Or whoever says. Or whoever says. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. Because your word says so. Because your word says so. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your spirit. That is dwelling in my spirit. That is dwelling in my spirit. And has produced the soil. And has produced the soil. Which is extremely fertile. Which is extremely fertile. Please destroy. Please destroy. Every negative seed. Every negative seed. That is the word. That is the word. That I have spoken out of my mouth. That I have spoken out of my mouth. Destroy the harvest. Destroy the harvest. And now I choose. And now I choose. To speak your word. To speak your word. And as I speak your word. As I speak your word. It's your living seed. It's your living seed. It's your living word. It's your living word. Who is alive. Who is alive. Full of action. Full of action. Full of power. Full of power. Effective, effective, operative, operative, and energetic, and energetic. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. As I speak your word, as I speak your word, your word starts affecting my body. Your word start affecting my body. Jesus, Jesus, I thank you for taking my place. I thank you for taking my place on the cross. On the cross, I choose to forgive everyone. I choose to forgive everyone. Who hurt me? Who hurt me? And I choose to ask forgiveness. And I choose to ask forgiveness from everyone. From everyone whom I have hurt. Whom I have hurt. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for your sacrifice. For your sacrifice. For being my substitute. For being my substitute on the cross. On the cross. According to your word. According to your word. Your body was wounded. Your body was wounded. So that. So that. By those wounds. By those wounds, I receive your healing power. I receive your healing power that heals my body. That heals my body. The Bible says. The Bible says all your bones were out of joint. All your bones were out of joint. By that pain. By that pain. By that wound. By that wound. All my joints. All my joints. In my bones. In my bones are completely healed. Are completely healed. I believe. I believe as I'm speaking these words as I'm speaking these words the angels of God the angels of God who are supposed to bring forth my salvation who are supposed to bring forth my salvation who are supposed to serve me are supposed to serve me are receiving the word that I'm speaking right now are receiving the word that I'm speaking right now and bringing forth and bringing forth all that I need all that I need for my health to be restored for my health to be restored angels of god angels of god as you are listening as you are listening according to hebrews 114 according to hebrews 114 i speak to you i speak to you bring forth bring forth my sal my salvation my salvation my healing my healing from the spiritual from the spiritual into my physical body into my physical body i therefore proclaim i therefore proclaim jesus Jesus your bones were out of joint your bones were out of joint so that my bones so that my bones are completely healed are completely healed. now you say Jesus Jesus all your bones were out of joint all your bones were out of joint for my sake 
for my sake so that my joints so that my joints my bones my bones are completely healed are completely healed you say jesus jesus concentrate learn it and you have to say it jesus, jesus all your bones all your bones were out of joint were out of joint say that again jesus all your bones were out of joint say that again jesus all your bones were out of joint now say jesus all your bones were out of joint for my sake jesus all your bones were out of joint for my sake again jesus all your bones were out of joint for my sake again jesus all your bones were out of joint for my sake again jesus all your bones were out of joint for my sake so that so that by those wounds by those wounds my bones my bones my joints my joints are completely healed are completely healed so that so that by your wounds by your wounds my joints my joints my bones my bones are completely healed are completely healed lord jesus lord jesus your bones were out of joint your bones were out of joint for my sake for my sake so that so that by that pain by that pain by that wound by that wound my bones my bones my joints my joints are completely healed are completely healed say that now jesus jesus all your bones all your bones were out of joint for my sake for my sake so that so that by those wounds by those wounds my bones are completely healed very good again stop me forget <laughs> yes when you understand that the healing is completed come on say jesus jesus All your bones were out of joint. All your bones were out of joint. For my sake. For my sake. Say that again. Jesus, all your bones were out of joint for my sake. Again. Jesus, all your bones were out of joint for my sake. Again. Jesus, all your bones were out of joint for my so sake. So that. So that. By that pain. By that pain. My joints are completely healed. My joints are completely healed. So that. So that. By that pain. By that pain. My bones are completely healed. My bones are completely healed. So that. so that by that pain by that pain my bones are completely healed my bones are completely now you say so that so that yeah forget so that so that by that pain by that pain my bones are completely healed my bones are completely healed you say that so that by that my, so that by that pain by that pain my bones are completely healed again so that by that pain my bones are completely healed again so that by that pain my bones are completely healed one more time so that the pain my bones are completely healed so that so that by, by that, that pain, pain that you went through jesus that, that pain jesus my bones are completely healed my bones are completely healed one last time so that by that pain my bones are completely healed praise god now move Where's the pain? Well, I don't feel it as bad in my shoulders. It's not there. No. No. Good. Now move your legs. Where's the pain? It's all gone. Thank God. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. How many years you suffered? Um, maybe fifteen. Fifteen days. Years. <laughs> And how much time did it take? Five months. Did we ask God to heal you? I used to pray like that, but then I was praying with worry. With instructed, yeah. With worry. The last worry. couple of years, I've been praying like that. But with worry. Well, obviously there was something not right. Yeah, but now everything is gone. Just check. Check everything. Isn't that beautiful? as a farmer <laughs> she is surprised hey, hold on on i'm not leaving you as a farmer have you ever seen that you planted the corn at right now and after 10 minutes you went to reap your harvest no but look at the spiritual realm the spiritual realm is so powerful okay she has been suffering for 15 years okay now what did we do did we ask god to heal her or did we only spoke his promises and you, you can turn your neck it's all that is gone yeah you can turn your yeah. can you can you just do this can you turn around one minute one minute turn <laughs> turn no. okay i'm going to bend you okay 1 2 3 
come on is there any pain now no. so now you can go dancing yeah good <laughs> Now, did we choose the right seed? Yes. yes. Did we ask God to heal her? Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Like the mechanic who use the tool. These are your toolbox. When you use the right tool, open your mouth. Now, why was I asking her to repeat? Because if she doesn't understand, she cannot repeat. So I was going on repeating and repeating. So now, was she focused on a sickness or was she learning how to repeat? So she got us focused on the word. The moment she got a focus on the word and she started repeating right, everything was over.